Where did the original idea for what became Cruising for Kids come from? Softball. We were at softball field playing ball, and um, our kids had played. Where we, when I played, our kids had played on the <clears> playground, <throat> and Jason came along, and, and Bailey and Bailey at the time wasn't side, just Bailey. Bailey didn't have anywhere to play. Um, what was over there was just old, and we just sat around the picnic table right there by the concession stand and came up with the idea. So, Cruising for Kids actually started as a fundraiser. Yeah, it still mm -hmm. is. Yeah, 100%. And we thought we were going to buy a playground after one car show. <laughs> Playgrounds are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, so, we thought that a playground would be, you know, five to eight thousand dollars, not thirty to forty thousand dollars. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so you missed that <clears throat> estimation. Yeah, we yeah. shot it a little short. So after the first one, it, it was not not even so much that it was a success, but we just had fun. It's a blast. So we're like, hey, let's do it again. Do you remember uh, how many cars you had the first year, roughly? Sixty-four. S yeah. Really? Six There's no roughlies. We know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my third child. <laughs> so. <laughs> Were you expecting to raise enough money the second year to take care of that? Uh, well, play? Uh, no, not after we priced it out. We're, we we knew that it would take three or four years. So, so just to clarify, you thought you wanted to raise money for a playground. You right. did the fundraiser before you even figured out how much money you were going to need to raise to have a. Right. I'm just making sure we're tracking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no sense in shopping when you ain't got no money. Right. Right. So I mean, what kind of shock was it when you guys finally figured out what this um, thing was? She called. Shock. Yeah, she she called and then she sent us a text and was like, hey, playgrounds are like 40 grand. And I'm like, we all thought she was crazy. Yeah, like, She's nuts. They got well, them at Walmart for two ninety nine. dollars so, so what was that like? Overwhelming. But... I don't know. We just all had a vision, you know, of what we wanted it to be like and how we wanted to provide a safe place for kids to play and for their parents to be able to know that they're okay and, and you know, that they have a, a place that they can come to every week in and out and know that, you know, they're going to be okay and not worry about their safety, you know, or anything like that. We weren't going to settle. That's what we weren't going to do. We weren't going to go and buy a three or $400 playground because we could. Um, after the, the first one, we realized that we couldn't afford what we wanted after one or even two, but we weren't just going to go buy something just for it to be there. We were going to go and make sure that we had what, what we all visioned it being, which is something that when we were younger, we would have wanted to play on. We wanted something when everybody <clears throat> drove up, we were proud of it. You know, yeah. it was a good way to represent our church and people to drive by and say, you know what, that church has a really nice playground. They must care a lot about their kids, you know, or they must invest a lot in the kids in the church.